Hi fam, welcome back to our channel. If this is your first time, welcome, welcome, welcome. I appreciate you for stopping by and watching this channel. Go ahead on and push that subscribe button, that like button, turn the notification bell on, and don't forget to share this video. Okay, I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Now today we're getting ready to make another beautiful 4th of July centerpiece. Okay, the supplies you would need are one glass vase, one large mirror, four tea light holders, four tea lights. They come in this style or just a plain style. You're going to need one foam ball, four bunches of flowers. Now, I did this uh, centerpiece in a previous tutorial, so go ahead on over and watch that video. You also gonna need a bag of chenille, scissors, and glue gun. You ready? Let's get started. Okay, this is an option. You can buy a string of lights. I purchased these lights during Christmas time. Okay, from Hobby Lobby. Very colorful. Okay, now it's time to apply our flowers onto our foam ball. Okay, now when you cut the um, flowers off the stem, you want to leave just a little bit of stem uh, onto the flower so you can just stick it right into the foam. Now, if you want to secure it into place so it won't fall off, you can just put some glue right here on the end. Okay. Okay, after I have finished my floral arrangement, I'm gonna take my vase, okay? Then I'm gonna take my lights and I'm gonna stick them right inside of my vase. We're just going to add a flower right in the center. Stick this on top of here. Put a little glue on the edge. And you can add as many of these as you want to your centerpiece. I'm going to stop right there. Get my glass mirror. Put my centerpiece on top.
add my tea lights drop my tea lights inside my tea light holders and here is another gorgeous centerpiece I hope you like it thumbs up subscribe like thumbs up okay I added some garland around the mirror at the bottom and I also took three of the chenille sticks off the other side of uh, the flower arrangement and that is my completed look hope you like it Everybody is sharing time. What sharing time? What sharing time? Hello, everybody is sharing time with me. Hello, everybody. Before I get into the five purchases that I got from the Dollar Tree, I want to first show you my nails. I have a new channel called Beauty Nails by Monica. Go check it out. I just finished my nails. Go check it out and see how I created these beautiful nails, okay? Don't forget to check out that video. It's called Beauty Nails by Monica. The five purchases I got from the Dollar Tree, number one, are these baseball looking hats. They come in black got something on it okay black and it comes in white okay and the, the back is adjustable to the size of your head okay so nice hat you can put some letters on it um, you can paint it you can do whatever you want to or just leave it plain Okay, I got these cute little, um, I call them the, what I said, the USA uh, socks, but they came in all kinds of uh, different uh, USA decorations. Um, I guess we have the flag here, but, uh, oh, they had so many different uh, designs. So. If you need some socks just in time for the 4th of July, go over to the Dollar Tree. Number three is th these beautiful uh, butterflies. And you can uh, put these on any type of flowers or a vase. They are really cute. They have them in all different colors. I just love that yellow. Number four they have these you well not unique but they have these different sizes of uh, gift bags now these well it came two to two for a dollar okay so they're pretty sizable but of course they also have the ones that have the decorations happy birthday or Father's Day Mother's Day anniversary and then they have these are pretty sizable for a big gift. I love this. You can do a DIY with this uh, bag. Last but not least, they have these really cute ice packs. Um, you just put some ice inside and you put it, I guess, on your knee or anywhere. Anywhere there's pain. Let me see how you open this. Oh, it just screws off. And you just put some ice inside. And wherever there's a bobo, 
or pain, um, you just uh, put it on. Put it on it and it's pretty. Uh, oop. Pretty soft. The material is really soft. But anyway, like I said, you can put it on your bobo or anywhere there's pain and cool it off and make it feel better. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, that like button, turn that notification bell on and share this video. And don't forget to go check out Beauty Nails by Monica. Have a blessed day, you guys. Have a blessed week and have a great weekend. God bless you guys. Woo!